What's up everyone, welcome to Stockton, it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we talk about stocks before they start blowing up, say goodbye to chasing stocks at all time highs and say hello to making some money. So if this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, then hit that beautiful subscribe button and like the video. Now let's get to it. Before we get into the video, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor, anything I say is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Having said that, if I'm talking about a company, I'll let you know whether I'm personally going to invest in it or not towards the end of the video. But you should always do your own due diligence, so with that out of the way, let's get started. Hi guys, I'm back with another BNGO video, so today I want to quickly go over a recent article that was published on Motley Fool about BNGO. Now before we start, I just want to make it clear that I don't get my research from articles on Motley Fool and none of my investing decisions are based on reading such articles. I read these articles as a way to reinforce my own ideas or just to see what other people think about the company and whether I agree with them or disagree with them and hopefully learn something new in the process. Bio nanogenomics implied upside of 108% so it's clear to see this is going to be a bullish piece on BNGO. In my opinion, 108% upside is something we should be able to achieve in the short to mid term. In the long run, there's plenty more upside when it comes to BNGO, but let's continue. There's also quite a bit of presumed upside for healthcare stock Bionanogenomics. This small cap diagnostics developer has a high price target on Wall Street of $14, which implies a gain of up to 108% over the next 12 months. So when we go on tip ranks, we can see that the average price target on BNGO is $11.50. So this used to be $14, but now it has dropped down to $11.50. However, we can see that the highest price target is still $14. Now, we should always take these price targets with a grain of salt. I personally still think we can hit $14 by the end of the year. Now, coming back to the article, the author goes on to say, The price targets for Bionano really began to soar about six months ago, when the company released results on the effectiveness of its optical genome mapping OGM system, Sapphire. This system out from Pacific Biosciences OGM technology in a study to identify large structural genome variations and in a separate study identified three autism spectrum disorder risk genes. The thinking here is that BioNano's technology will make it easier for drug developers to discover and target specific genetic markers for hard to treat diseases. So yes, that is exactly my thinking when it comes to personalized medicine, which we've talked about a number of times in the past on this channel, because it's a huge market for BNGO. In the last video, I talked about the total addressable market for personalized medicine, which is expected to grow to $1.6 trillion by 2026. Now, the article then goes on to say, while the above certainly sounds like a convincing reason for BioNano to hit $14 a share, there is the little part about Sapphire needing FDA approval. For the moment, healthcare companies can use Sapphire for research purposes, but BioNano's ability to generate revenue will be limited until such time as it gets the green light from the FDA. This is expected to be years off. So I don't agree with this at all. At the moment, PacBio isn't FDA approved either. So if PacBio isn't FDA approved, how come it has a market cap which is nearly five times bigger than BNGO's market cap? And the main reason for that is that Pacific Biosciences has been in the market for longer with the right strategy. But the point is that if they can reach a higher adoption without an FDA approval, I don't see why Bionanogenomics can't do the same. The author of this article also implies that the only route for BNGO to make significant amount of revenue is through personalized medicine and for that they need FDA approval. However, that's not the case. Personalized medicine will come down the line later on. Right now, eyes are on BNGO's Sapphire system to be adopted at an industrial scale to disrupt the existing cytogenetics marketplace and to also be used as a diagnostic tool for identifying genetic disorders that are not detectable using next generation sequencing or even long read sequencing. So I don't entirely agree with this article. But anyways guys, let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment below to let me know. That's it for today's video, have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.